What's up, people? Maddie D here from the Black, helping you achieve emotional, financial, and physical well-being. And your relationship coach, when it comes to or life coach, comes to helping you, you know, heal from your uh, emotion wounds from your parents. So, back with a money video. I missed that. Uh, money video uh, stash update number two. How it's been for me, um, and I like to discuss this. I think stash is a great way to start investing if you're brand new don't know a damn thing about it they break it down they keep it simple it's great for total you know total newbies um and so the last one i don't remember exactly where it was at as far as numbers goes but i just started i was recommending to people and you know where i'm at right now i'm having some returns on the stocks that i have um invested in I have, oh, made a whole $2, oh shit, woo, it's a good thing. So, I don't know if you can see that there, um, or Matt, you know, just got started with this, so I'm starting slow, I mean starting small, but it's seeds, um, I'll, go, I'll go into that a little bit later. But, as far as the stocks that I have so far, I have Delicious Dividends, Park My Cash, and Roll Buffett. Um, Delicious Dividends is, is, a, is a stock, that these guys pay you dividends on any profits that they make. The own part of my cash gives you more interest than what you have in the bank. And also, Royal Buffett is you know, buying a portion of a uh, small, all, you know, although a very small portion of um, Warren Buffett's company. I like those. Feel they're safe, um, you know, conservative, and all that. So that's where I'm at so far. Um, it's been pretty good. Now, things on the rise. Um, I'm not sure why, I'll be honest with you on that. As to why things are rising, um, I can tell you that from what I've learned from investing from Stash and really from um, Tony Robbins' book, Money, Master of the Game, which I highly recommend you read because Stash actually has some values in line with this book, which is good. I also got the Tony Robbins' audiobook, well, um, the audio version of the book, Unshakable, which is very important because there is another recession coming relatively soon. And by, and by relatively soon, I mean within the next, eh, year i would say i'm gonna guess on a year to three years i would say because the s is up there it's up pretty high um there's also another video which i'll point below i'll put in, I'll put in the uh, description here um it talks about you know the crash and there's the five i think i think i mentioned five five signs of what 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 will happen um and recessions are nothing to be feared if you know what to do and how you can use them to, to, to prosper and profit, then you won't fear them. They happen. They're, they're, they're part of it, the cycle, people forget about them. They think, oh, we had a recession and we're done now. It's like, there's another one coming. People don't get that. But anyways, that's a whole new thing. I'll do a video on that another time. It's a good idea to do so. But yeah, so that's what I'm at with Stash. It's going, it's going smooth. It's, it was rocking in the beginning. And if you're starting out with Stash and it's rocking in the beginning, that's fine. It, you have to get an investment for the long term. It's a long term thing. You can do, you can make some short term money in it, but like that really defeats the purpose of it. Because what happens is, yeah, you can make gains and stuff, but there's a lot of risk involved. You got to research on what you're doing. And there are people who do that stuff. I'm not, I'm not gonna advocate that. That's just not me. That's not what I'm looking to do here. I'm looking to grow my wealth long term so that when I do die, my children, their children, have wealth to, to use for the future. The thing about with with investing stock market long time is that you have to give your money time to compound. Compound interest is your money makes money already being there. So. As of today, at this moment in time, I've made a full $2. Woohoo! Not a huge amount of money, but that's money that I did not have to go out and trade my time for. That's money that's work for me literally while I sleep, while I eat, while I do other stuff, go out and have fun. That's the point. Now, that's just $2. Imagine if I had, you know, you know, $100 in there or 200000 Compounds over time. That's the that's the mindset you want to have. And um, one thing I was going to say earlier um, is that you don't want to look at the news and you know stock market news every day because they just fills you with fear and it's just crazy. You don't need to look into it. If you're going to look at it long term, the advice that they give in the book and also in Unshakable is to look at your look at your stock portfolio once a year or maybe at the at the very most once every six months and don't look at it and rebalance it. Cause you look at shit every day in the news and stuff, it, it'll just drive you nuts, it'll drive you fear. You don't need to do that. 
So, but the other thing too, they, they say that if you check your shit every day, which I do, which is bad, it's addicting, feed your mind's candy, and it's just, it's it's dumb. It's like, honestly, the best thing is to check it once every three months and just let it be, because the way it works, the stocks, they go up and down like this. And this is how it is. But also, when things are dipping, you know, some guys, some people have done, which I haven't looked into, is they have bot stocks when things are on the downward, and then the socks recover, and then it made some gains, which is pretty smart, so you can do that too. But with all that being said and done, I'm leaving it at that. That's my update. Um, if you're watching this, you just, and you, and you, just, you, you just got started with Stash yourself, or you've been in it, comment below on your thoughts, how you've been doing, what investments have you have you done, what strategies you're currently using, share it, and hey, let's all get wealthy together. So. Also, please subscribe to my channel. I do videos on this, but like I said, I also focus on the parent stuff, but the money is a big part because the way we feel about money, the way we treat money, the way we think about money, we get that from our parents. It's all connected. So, like, comment, share, comment below. Speak to you guys next video. Excuse me, next video. I'm gonna run, get showered, shave my face. Love y'all, get in the black. Peace.